EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. From just west of Calgary at Banff Springs, it's live first round coverage of the Canadian Championship. We've got a full field ready to get rolling on this Thursday as we get a look at the early leaderboard. A lot of folks fighting for the title, including our leader. Now down to the par four first hole and Frank a chance to get out of the gates with a pretty good score on the card. Certainly is Rich, fairly generous fairway. I think a lot of right handers prefer a little dog leg left to start the day. That's exactly what you have in front of you. There's a good start, that one in the fairway here to get the tournament rolling. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third. Nota, uh, this player very simply has the look of a winner. The bounce and the step, the smile, the ease with which they're playing this next round. Nothing like getting that first win in your hip pocket, right? You know it. Well, over the course of your career, there's a handful of things that you always remember. You remember your first win as a junior golfer. You remember your first big win as an amateur. Now, your first win as a professional sticks in your mind for the rest of your life, but this is the professional game. You've got to keep building. All right, that's a board, but a lot of green between ball and hole. Iona Steven is at the first green. This for birdie. And this one probably needs an extra nudge just to get it up that slope, but overall, it's not a difficult one. Yep, not bad. Had to put a little extra into that one, but got it there. That's a pretty good effort. Safely in. It's a par here at first, and she's going to hold on here at even par. Frank, it's always nice to begin a round with a little variety. We had a relatively short par four opening hole, and now a par three to back it up. You can see why short iron play is going to be paramount today, Rich. Short iron into the first hole and a chance here to hit another short iron into a short par three. So you can get off to a very fast start.
Okay, that one's dancing. This is a 13-footer. Pretty good read there. Definitely good speed, and it just skips a foot or so by. That finished off for par here at the second, and she'll remain at even par. So par four to open, then a par three, and now Frank here at the third, a par five at 528 yards. And you get to see everything very early on in the round. Dog leg left first hole, par three second, and now a long dog leg right par five. With a good, good tee shot, though, you can definitely reach this hole in two. problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Now a big spot here for something good. This is a short second to the par five. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Red, it is a birdie here at the third. Frank, it's always fun to play a par three just like this one. Yeah, the ball's going to go further. Uh, obviously, you get to tee it up. Um, should be able to carry that water. That's really the only problem for the player in front. But once again, another good chance for a birdie. 192 yard par three fourth. This one's looking good. Uh, that's quality shot right there. Just left of the hole and a birdie opportunity coming up. This from about 10 feet.
Mm, a good opportunity lost there. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. And she'll stay one under for the tournament. Well, again, Frank, we get that good mix of holes here. We've had a couple of par threes, a short par five, and that opening par four. Now at the fifth hole, 424 yard par four. The first bunker on the right, not really in play for the good players. Uh, just be a little cognizant of that one on the left side, you know, and what club you want to hit off the tee. Um, ideally, that line is the third bunker, the one in the distance. That's a good line off the tee here. It's been good driving so far. That ball bounces into the rough, so just the first fairway miss today. Well, it just comes up a little shy of the flag, but all in all, a good shot out of that rough. A look here at birdie. Yeah, thanks, Rich. This is a pretty straightforward putt overall, but we are going up a gentle slope. Needs an extra bit of gas. finished off it is a part here at five and she'll remain at one under par now at the sixth hole here at Banff Springs it's a short par four only 373 yards and the short par four Frank all the rage in golf course architecture these days a lot more strategy involved when uh, you've got a hole that you can nearly reach with a tee shot it's how far back do you leave it what sort of distance you want that second shot all those things to compute uh, straightforward a little bit uphill Basically, it's what you want for your second shot. Ah, uh, solid. Good drive in the fairway. Iona's down there. She's had a good look. This for birdie. Well, they often say it's the toughest putt in golf. There's not a lot to it. I think you can take dead aim.
it. Oh, never a doubt. That one was tracking the entire way. It is in for a spectacular birdie. Well, Frank, how about this hole? 602 yards of par five, although I, I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. It's 602 yards these days for a long hitter. Um, what do you say? A, it's a drive into seven that, That's a <laughs> mid-range par five. Well, yeah, two woods. Uh, the longer hitters will definitely get uh, at home there, especially in good conditions. But bunker down the left, avoid that, carry that, and then we can think about the second shot. Well, not this time. That one's in the rough. Might be a tough shot coming up. Good second shot, that last bounce, a little unlucky, but still that third shot sits up rather nicely into this par five. Ah, uh, yeah, well done. It's back-to-back -back birdies here on this front side. Now to hole number eight. It's another par three with some water. Frank, only 150 yards. This is the shortest hole in the golf course. But distance control is still very important. If you can get the right distance, you could perhaps aim 10 or 15 feet left of the flag. You're only going to have a 10 or 15 foot putt. So uh, just, just think of that. Water on the right there. Yeah, maybe just aim a little further to the left. You can still make birdie. That one unable to hold the green. It'll come back into the fairway. Now, from the apron, a uh, second to the par three. Oh, how about the touch right there? Very well done. Hard to do much better than that. It was nearly perfect. Okay, that in four par here at the eighth. And she's going to stay at minus three. So we'll round out the front side here at Banff Springs with a par five and reasonably short at only 501 yards. So very reachable because of that yardage that you just referenced. Whole bend's a little bit to the right. You can favor the left side with a tee shot. It's just going to make that angle on the second a little bit easier.
looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. Well within range from here, a second now to the par five. That one had to feel good. Yeah, struck it so well. You could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Speed was right what you want, but the eagle putt doesn't go down. This would be a good way to finish off the front side. Easy as can be. It's a tap-in birdie here at the ninth. And she'll go out in 32 on this front side, four under par. Frank, we begin this back nine with a real test. It's a 218-yard par three. It's very easy to get lulled into the shape of that lake there on the right side and try and hit a cut in here. But uh, that cut's going to work against the natural shape of the hole. If anything, a nice high draw. Yeah, nicely done. Front right portion of the green and a look coming for birdie. 15 feet away. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. So that's in for par to start this backside. And she'll remain at four under par. Now to the 11th hole. It's a par four, 417 yards. Frank, what's the key here? Um, a nice little draw down that left side would be the ideal tee shot. Uh, the carry on the two little bunkers down the left side really isn't overly long, but uh, that's the desired entry into this green. Boy, a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee. Frank here at the 11th hole, second shot, another chance to make a birdie. Certainly is. The only thing you're guarding against here with that second shot into 11 is just going long. Uh, pretty generous green once again. Uh, because it slopes back into the player's uh, face, the ball's not going to kick forward.
Okay, well done. It is a par here at 11, and her score is going to stay right where it is. Here at the 12th, par 4, 442 yards. Frank, what's ahead? This one's called Big Boat. Uh, hole certainly a lot longer than the 10th hole, which is Little Boat. Dog legs to the player's right. A couple of bunkers down the left side. That first bunker on the left shouldn't be too much of a problem to carry. But once again, even though the hole bends to the right, you'd like to be down the opposite side of the fairway, which is the left. Strike right there, and it's going to split the middle. Second shot now from right at 100 yards. Oh man, it looked good initially, but rolled off the green and back into the fairway. That stings. Just five feet left. Read it just a bit, and it stayed out wide left of the hole. So, a tough hole, and it's in for bogey at 12. And she'll drop back down to three under. Well, this is a good hole right here. Par three, 225 yards, 13. Frank, what do you think? Well, it's called sulfur. Um, I can't remember what element that is on a periodic table, but um, the hardest thing here is not to figure that out, but figure out what club you're going to use. Just a fraction downhill, just over 200 yards. It does narrow up when they start to tick the flag in the back, but there's a nice fat target there, sort of those first two-thirds of the green. Okay, a friendly bounce there, and that will make its way onto the putting surface. A birdie opportunity here at 13. And I think she really fancies this one. There's not a lot of break, there's not a lot of slope. It's going in the cup. That one just gonna sneak on by. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And her score is going to stay right where it is. Frank, this par for 14th hole at about 440 yards will test you all the way up to that green, won't it? Yeah, it certainly will. It just looks like you should bash it over those bunkers down the left side. But the green pitches from left to right. So the best access is actually down the right side, coming in from that sort of right line. Uh, so don't be fooled here. Yeah, good swing and a good result, as that is safely into the fairway. Wasn't right down the middle, but it wasn't bad at all. Coming at this second shot from the right side of the fairway.
I really like her golf swing, and that's another good shot. She should be happy with that one. Here we go. This one for birdie. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. Well, now the par fours begin to stretch out a little bit. The 15th here, Frank, is 475 yards. Certainly want to put your big shoes on here. Nice big slinging draw off the tee might help go a little further. Does go downhill considerably, so you get a little bit more run out of the tee shot if you did that. She just seems to be on autopilot right about now. That, another good drive off the tee. So this, Iona, her second from the fairway. 129 yards left to the flag to date. Pin on the right-hand side, so plenty of room to the left of it. We go. Oh, I love it when the balls hit the right distance, just a little bit to the right, inside 10 feet, but bang on for distance. Ah, the putter on point late here in the round. Birdies at 14 and 15. Moving on to number 16 now, it's a par four, 414 yards. And Frank, what are we looking at here? It's another hole that'll favor a nice sort of high draw off the tee. It'll set up that second shot to a green that uh, has got several different levels on it. Nothing to fault there. Safely in the fairway. So after the big drive, this a short approach to the par four. Okay, not particularly close, but a chance for the putter to do its thing. Now this for another birdie. Ah, 
look at that put on the brakes. That's pretty well judged from there. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And she's gonna hold on at five under. Now to the 17th, 374 yards, and Frank players might be licking their chops here. They certainly would, Rich. Bunkers left and right, but they can be carried with an aggressive tee shot. And it'll set up just a short on into a green that pitches towards you. Um, so maybe just a little bit underneath the flag with a second shot. Really a chance to uh, have a fast finish. That was flirting with disaster the whole way, and it's going to wind up hopping into the bunker. Now this, an awkward distance for a bunker shot. No problems there. That's par here at 17. And her score is going to stay right where it is. Well, Frank, this sets up for an exciting finish here at Bamp Springs, a 578-yard par 5. There's just about a bunker in play for every length of tee shot here. So know exactly which one you can carry and exactly which one you cannot reach. Boy, the rhythm is definitely there to get another wonderful tee shot. Normally they stick a tee in one end and a flag in the other. You advance the way. But that second shot on this par five, that completely took the green out of play. Airmail. That is a big mistake.
Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. And if you've ever used a putting mat as a holiday gift, this is the putt. Slightly up a hill and dead straight. Nope. So she will tap that in for her par at 18. Uh, final look at the opening round leaderboard. It shows our featured golfer just two back at day's end. Makes that second round even more important, Rich. Don't want to get too adrift. 